Okay, let's talk about connecting everything together. So, when you get all these services for your shipping and your inventory management and your pricing all together, you will have to give them access to your Amazon account. So, the way they access that is through Amazon Marketplace Web Services. So, you go and you look up Amazon MWS, you'll find the page that I'm on. You can get there with the URL developer.amazonservices.com and on this page basically all you do is hit sign up for MWS and it'll take you through the steps to make your professional Amazon selling account a uh, merchant web services uh, accessible account basically so that you can get in here in the back end and give third-party applications access to your Amazon account so you will need some uh, credentials and you'll be able to find them in the back end here. You'll need your seller ID, your marketplace ID, <coughs> an authorization token, and then you also need your access key ID and your secret key. So on this page it'll show you how to do everything but you will need to get all that stuff. Seller ID, marketplace ID are the easiest and then everything past that point you have to log into your account to find those. They're pretty easy to find. Anyhow, so there's two ways you can do it. In the back end of certain apps, like I'll just take this one right here, Cellbrite. In their system, you can log into the back end and just hit a button that just says connect to your Amazon account and it'll just set you up right away. But you'll also run into situations where you actually need to get all of these credential codes from Amazon and then put them into your third party app. There's really two ways to do it. Either they'll have it set up for you to um, gain access with the click of a button or you'll have to go through this process. Now when it comes to eBay, okay, I've, I've never actually seen anywhere where you have you have to get some special codes for eBay. It's just like a one click and it'll give you you know you just you just consent to give that third party app access to your eBay account and that's that. And that sets up all the connections. Now in here also if you're going to be connecting to your Shopify, your Magento and your WooCommerce store, BigCommerce whatever um, it basically runs the same way. I know for it's about half and half in my experience. Usually things are a um, little bit more manual. You will have to go and get these these keys and your authorization token, and then give them to the e-commerce platform. Now you don't just hand it over there's a specific area where you have to go and find it it's pretty easy I'm gonna be walking you through some of that stuff later on but it will be in your settings area if you're not running your own website then just speak to your web guy it's really easy to find and also if you go ahead and you talk to whoever your provider is they will step by step walk you through how to get things set up they'll either have some sort of guide or they'll just talk you through it. Now when I say most providers, I mean the ones that I suggest to you have excellent support and they will do that sort of thing for you. I can't vouch for everybody obviously, but that's the two ways to get it done. And once you have everything connected, it's pretty easy. There are some settings that you might run into inside of your inventory management or your pricing setup. Um, whatever that third-party software is, you will have some settings that can be tweaked around a little bit. So just keep an eye open for those. If something isn't working exactly the way you want, then it might just be a setting. And I will reach out to the support of the third-party solution that you're using and ask them how that can be fixed. Uh, but everything should run pretty smooth for your general purposes. It's only when you're going to have some very, very specific custom situation where you're trying to get a specific result that you might run into any issues like that.
All right, so that's the short version of how to do all that. Just follow those steps. I'll give you the link to this page since you can access this and read more. And thanks for watching.